Yo, it's the Mighty Jalak, aka Cat. We got a bit of a long video here today. It's something everyone knows how to do. It's something everyone does all the time, but uh, sometimes people do it. Maybe not inefficiently, but there's an easier way. So you got a fridge full of babies, or you just want to raise a batch of babies. How do you do it quicker and efficiently? So as you can see here, I got a mix of herbivores and carnivores. So I'll show you the best way to uh, actually raise your dinos. So a nice thing to do is have a nice place with uh, lots of open space, and you want to have two sets of troughs, preferably tech troughs and you want to fill up each so you've got two sets of troughs fill one set of troughs up all with meat as you can see here and then another set of troughs built with uh, berries as you can see the uh, troughs are actually built into the floor that's something uh, Reek has built quite a nice addition so everything's nice and smooth you can use that using a uh, pillar and ceilings so as you can see here we've got berries everywhere so you want to first of all split your tames into two categories carnivores and herbivores and then preferably if you can into uh, actual tame groups so here we've got racers, manners, rexers, spinos, gas bags so first thing I'm going to throw out is the parasitiums what you do you want to throw them all out don't worry about unconsciousness or anything like that just throw them all out they're going to be raised anyway so you need to be somewhere safe to raise them so throw them all out you want to take some berries for each of them and you want to go up to them and you want to name them. You want to name them, you can name them silly names if you want, but the best way to do it is regimented. So you want to name them specific names. What is it? A male and how many of them do you have? So I always put cat, M1, F1, and then the numbers up sequentially after that. So as you can see here, I'm taking some berries out of the trough. We're going to go up to the Parasithium. We're going to first of all change its name to a coded name, cat M1. So cat, me, Jalak, male, one. Then you're going to want to put berries in its inventory, just a one stack for now, and uh, move on. Obviously, I can't be bothered editing it around to uh, get the number uh, server number out of it, because they're obviously unconscious, but you just follow that method. For each female, just add uh, the next sequential number on, or whatever coding system you want. Once you've done your herbivores, or carnivores, or whatever first, then you want to move on to your next group. And you want to throw all of those out, do the same thing, name them a coded name, feed them a, 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 a slot, do that for each of them in that group but then you want to go back to the first group you've had and top them up with berries or raw meat or whatever it is and then go back to this group before throwing out your next group so after this I threw gas bags out so before I threw the gas bags out I made sure the parasitiums and the spinos were first fed that way I can keep track of um, feeding the babies because obviously you do need to keep an eye on them when they are babies otherwise they can starve so you want to throw one group out feed them name them, throw the next group, feed them, name them, go back to group 1, feed, back to group 2, feed, then group 3, chuck out, name, feed them, then 1, 2, 3, 4, carrying on like that, and you can get um, really efficient breeding of lots and lots of dinos all at once, and obviously because you've already, you don't need to go out and farm while you're, you're raising, you can just be in one spot all day, and it's nice and easy. So, moving on to uh, step 2. You've thrown them all out and you're feeding them. Now it's getting pretty inefficient and confusing to feed. Have you missed one? Have you fed that one there? You know, even though they're named, you can keep track of it that way. The next thing to do, once you've um, chucked your babies out for raising, once they've all woken up from their cryo sickness, you need to get them in a line. The reason you need to get them in a line is so it's efficient to feed all of them. You have the line split into carnivores and herbivores, and then you can just go down the line um, and just keep feeding, it's really easy. You can just take a stack of empty inventory, you know, take a stack of raw meat or a stack of berries or whatever and just go down the line feeding them. Now, to do this, obviously everyone knows how to do it, it's not a difficult thing. I'm just making this video just to show you people that might not know the best way to raise uh, or the way I find the most useful anyway. This is how you do it. You want to go on to them, set their behavior to the lowest, follow. Don't necessarily whistle follow, especially if you're in a base that's crowded, because sometimes it can be easy to accidentally click whistle follow all. So um, it's easier if you do the whistling through the behavior. Set the settings to lowest, enable following, and then uh, just line it up. Sometimes they don't follow straight away, and uh, something you can do that I do anyway, I don't know if it works or not, I just punch um, just in the air, and they then start to seem to walk. So uh, yeah, so you want to, again, do two rows one with herbivores and one with carnivores sometimes they can take a little while to line up but it is better to do it um, as neat as you can because then obviously you don't need to move any part of your control you can just hold right or left on the left analog stick for either going to the right or the left hand side of the line and you just keep going down square feed them square feed them square feed them 
So yeah, this is the uh, the the method I find easiest for ra raising dinosaurs. As you can see, this one here, he's having a bit of a yawn. He's taking his time. So yeah, just while we're lining these up, um, some people in the comment section are very funny on this channel, uh, and they they like to moan about things. You don't have to actually watch the channel, by the way. It's not a legal requirement. So if there is, if you do have negativity, I do love it. I love getting into a bit of beef on the old YouTube comment section, so I don't mind in it. But if you don't like something, you don't have to watch it. You know that that's all I have to say on that matter. Uh, as you can notice here, I'm also using the preview mode, which uh, I recently made a video on, and uh, yeah, it's it's so much nicer and clearer and crisper. And there's another actually uh, another video coming up on uh, about preview mode. You can actually cycle through, and there's some um, interesting. Um, I don't know, visual changes and texture changes when you uh, cycle through the preview modes and uh, it, it's quite interesting to do I don't know how advantageous it would be in a PvP setting but um, you know it's just interesting to play about so there will be a video on that as you can see here the Paracetheums, the herbivores are lined up so that's one line I'm now going to go and do it with the Spinos although as I threw them out they were pretty much lined up anyway but it's nice to get them all close close and identically placed in a line and it's just the swiftest way to feed everything so that's what we're going to do as you can see I've thrown out Rexes and uh, Manners and I've done the same method with that throw them out name them feed them and then just keep going back to each group and and you want to keep it set into different groups of the teams that you're doing it it's really easy to keep it compartmentalized in your head and also in the game this, it's the same with arc over and over again the more organized you can be the more efficient you can be the quicker you can get things done as you can see this spino is a bit out of place here so i bring him back round and then i line him up again it's not rocket science i'm not saying you need to be told how to do this I'm just saying for people that might not know or maybe their base is crowded with babies or you know everyone has a cryo fridge full of babies that they've, that they've never got around to, to raising or, you, or you've raided a load of babies you can't be obviously raised. It's really, if you, if you use this method, nice bit of open space, you can just, you, you could raise a whole cryo fridge, uh, you know, get them all to juvie in a day easily, you know, just a whole fridge. It, it, it's not that difficult. You just got to be organised about it and make sure you've already farmed um, all the food that you want to use to feed the babies prior and have a lot of it. So, because you don't want to be going out in and out in and out all the time while you're raising, because it's it's enough going back and forth between the different uh, baby dinosaurs feeding them. So, um, as you can see here, I'm just lining up these. So this will be the start of my carnivorous line, and the other line was the start of the herbivore line, um, and when they're all awake and they're all calm you just have to every you know whenever just go down the line and feed it e easy as pie um, gonna move on to the next clip now and that's just of uh, both the lines and you can see how quick easy and efficient it is just to just to feed them basically so moving on to the uh, third segment of this video you can see my spinos, rexes and manners uh, the carnivorous line are all lined up perfectly I have a stack of raw meat as you can see there five rows in my inventory and uh, I'm just gonna L1 off the meat from one dinosaur drop the spoiled meat, there's several ways you can drop the spoiled meat you can drop it with L2 in its inventory and then L1 the raw meat and then transfer all, there we go or you can L1 all and drop the spoiled meat from your inventory or you can not take the spoiled meat at all and just leave it on the dino it doesn't really matter too much but when they're little it does take up weight so maybe if you're going it, it, it's nice just to, um, it's nice to be organized on arc the spoiled meat doesn't need to be there throw it away however in, if you're in a rush or you're you're you know you're not really OCD about it it doesn't really matter if the spoiled meat's on it it just it's, it's better for the dino and it doesn't need to be there so you might as well get rid of it also if you never throw it away it does start to pile up a bit and that's when it can start to take the weight uh, off the baby that you need to put on actual raw meat you know so um, as you can see you just go down the line just feed them it, it's not rocket science it's really easy and then the same with the herbivores just go down and feed them and as you can see this way some so much more organized way of uh, raising your babies obviously the majority of people are going to be raising their babies like this anyway I just thought I'd make a explanatory video on uh, just how I do it and the methods I use the methods I find easiest 
and 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 again it comes back to organization i said previously but just having everything in different sets you've got set of spinos set of rexes set of manners you know and potentially if you were doing a whole fridge full of babies you could have as many tame groups as you want and just keep feeding them naming them feeding them and then adding them to the line and eventually before you know it the first set will be juvie the second the third and onwards uh it's the same with raising giggers just get them out get them in a line and just feed the line obviously this is what most people do anyway um but yeah a nice trick for taking berries out of the troughs because obviously if you're l1 you're going to get too full really unless you're rolling with a weight character or you have the tech legs on um if you just type in the first two letters of a berry you won't get too many and you'll only have to put a few berries back into the trough if you're over encumbered to carry on moving and feeding things uh gas bags you don't always necessarily have to feed them loads they're really really easy tame and they're a really really good soaker if uh, people want some easy tames to raid bases with gas bag nice saddle and um the jobs are good on because they 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 really as soon as they come out you can pretty much put 100 berries on them and they're, they're just the easiest herbivore tank tame there's to raise and, and they're they're really useful they're a lot more versatile than uh, other soakers like uh, stegos and trikes because you really can fly them about um as you can see here moving on that's not the best that stego we still got an imprint left this one 100 percent you can get your tames 100% as well, uh, just following this easy method. Obviously, it's not the be all and end all having 100% imprint tames, but it does really help. Uh, this is Mike Jalak. Hope you found this video informative, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned, stay subscribed.